Fiscal policy is the use of government revenue expenditure to control the economy. We notice that when you look at uh, AD curve, AD curve is made up of C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So whenever the government expenditure go up, we know this AD curve will go up. At the same time, if the government reduces taxes in an economy, then the disposable income go up and that can in turn result in consumption to go up. Furthermore, if the government is reducing taxes on uh, firms, it can also make firms to invest more so I can go up. So we can say this that the government can increase aggregate demand by increasing G or reducing T in an economy and this is called expansionary fiscal policy. Let's see expansionary fiscal policy in terms of a diagram. So if let's say our aggregate demand is currently AD naught and aggregate supply is AS naught and we are looking at our price level to be P naught where real GDP is Y naught. Now increasing government expenditure or reducing taxes we are saying can cause consumption to go up because of course disposable income is going down investment to go up because now firms are taxed uh, less and now G also goes up because now government spending is going to improve uh, because we are looking at expansionary fiscal policy so that in turn may cause AD curve to shift to the right and a rise in AD as you can see can cause many things to happen number one the GDP to go up. So there is economic growth and we call this actual economic growth because AD curve is shifting to the right. But at the same time, because G is, uh, I mean AD curve is rising, is rising and therefore GDP is rising, this rise in GDP may also be accompanied by a fall in unemployment. So unemployment, which is another macroeconomic goal, can go down because of a rise in AD curve to the right. But you can also see, because the economy may not have the spare capacity to increase this demand, you might see the price level to go up. So a downside of an expansionary fiscal policy, of course, is that there could be inflation that can happen in an economy. So the inflation or price level can go up in an economy. At the same time, we may also say that the current account of the balance of payment may worsen when our AD curve is shifting to the right. And why is that so? Well, because when the GDP is rising, incomes are rising, there could be a possibility of uh, an economy spending more on foreign goods or uh, imported items and that can run into a uh, current account deficit. Uh, and if that happens, then we can say there is a trade-off when we, when we look at uh, our expansionary fiscal policy because at one point we are causing the GDP to go up and unemployment to go down but at the same time the other macroeconomic goals of unemployment of, of inflation to go up and current account uh, deficit uh, you know uh, may uh, worsen as a result of uh, the rise in AD. The contractionary fiscal policy, on the other hand, has an opposite effect because in a contractionary fiscal policy, what we're trying to do is that we're trying to make the government expenditure to go down, and at the same time, we're looking at taxes to go up, and that in turn would mean disposable income is going down, so consumption will fall, firms are basic tax more, so their incentive to invest goes down. At the same time, government spending is also reduced, so you know, like G is falling, all of this will mean that the AD curve will fall and this fall in AD of course will cause unemployment to rise, GDP to fall as we discussed earlier because AD curve is shifting backward so the price level will go down but your current account may actually improve. So current account you know, deficit may improve. So if the government wants to run what we call uh, a contractionary sort of uh, fiscal policy then the contractionary fiscal policy will lead to uh, two goals to be achieved. Number one is your inflation can be kept under control and number two current account deficit may fall but that also will be at the expense of rising unemployment and falling GDP. Now we call fiscal policy as uh, a demand side policy because you can see that it is trying to manage demand in an economy. Uh, contractionary fiscal policy may make the AD curve fall and expansionary fiscal policy may make the AD curve go to the right and uh, that's why these are what we call demand side policies rather than supply side policies. 
Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.